Hello, and welcome to this edition of eBytes. In this eByte, we'll be covering the use of styles in Word 2010. Hopefully, this will help to add consistency to the structure and appearance of your document. Using styles consistently provides two benefits. First, it ensures that all similar items in a document are formatted in the same way. Second, if you need to change the appearance of a particular style, you can very easily and everything formatted with that style will change immediately throughout the entire document. So, what is a style? A style is a set of stored formatting attributes. By creating and using styles, you can apply the same formatting to text repeatedly in your document in just a single click. So instead of applying several formatting attributes to text over and over, you can save that formatting as a style and then apply the style to the text all formatting will be applied instantly. By applying and using styles, you will produce documents with a consistent look and feel. Microsoft Word 2010 provides a large number of styles that you can use to apply formatting. To ensure that some of the more common styles are accessible, Microsoft has group related quick styles into quick style sets and has displayed the selected set in the quick styles gallery on the home tab. The picture in front of you highlights where these can be found. Styles can be applied to a heading, a subheading, a paragraph, or even down to a single word. Using styles consistently provides two benefits. First, it ensures that all similar items in a document are formatted in the same way. Second, if you need to change the appearance of a particular style, you can very easily and everything formatted with that style will change immediately throughout the entire document. Let's put the styles to use. Here is a text document I created earlier. We have a title, a subtitle, and a block of text. Firstly, let's change the title by using words in built style selection. Simply highlight the title, and then navigate over to the styles tab. Here we have words numerous styles that we can use and apply to our words. When we find one we like, we simply click. Note that the document changes once you hover over each style, but it doesn't stay permanent. It only changes until you've clicked the one that you wish to use. To see more of the styles that are available in Word, if we click on the downward arrow, this opens up all the styles that are available to us. So let's change the subtitle. Again, highlight, click on the downward arrow, and let's choose subtitle. Let's have a go now at creating our own style. Firstly, we need to decide what our style wants to look like. So let's take the first paragraph, for example. We highlight the first paragraph, we choose a font that we like, and select the font, we choose a font size, try it at 11, we can add an italic fill to it. Okay, for the time being we'll leave it there. Now to create that, so it's a quick style and it's easily accessible from the bar, Simply right click, go to styles, save selection as new quick style, and let's just call it Acme. Simply click OK, and that adds the quick style set to the toolbar. So, all we have to do to change the remaining text so it matches the style as the previous. Simply highlight the text, click on the downward arrow, and locate the Acme style that we have created. This can be done for the remaining paragraphs. Simply highlight, and choose the quick style set. Word also gives us the ability to modify the existing styles. For example, 
if we highlight this set of text, which is just set to normal, and we can right click normal and then click on modify to change the attributes that are held by that style. Now if we look, that style is currently set to Arial font 12. If we click on modify, we can then change that to Calibre 14 and click on OK. Now by looking at the normal, we can see that that has now changed to Calibri 14. And again, we can apply that style to all of the paragraphs and areas within our document. If we simply click between the paragraphs, we can see that there is no change between the fonts, which emphasizes that they are now exactly the same. To recap on this eBite, you should now be able to use and apply styles to your own Word documents, create your own style using fonts, font sizes and other attributes. You should be able to modify the existing styles that are already pre-installed with Word 2010. And feel free to experiment with styles in other packages. Other Microsoft packages also include styles. So why not have a look and see what you can do with those also. Thank you for watching this e -bike.